Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review on the brand new Chanel La Comer collection. But before we get it started, and if you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel, make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about this new collection from Chanel and how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Lies, lies, all lies. During my latest luxury beauty haul, I share with all of you, my friends, that I have purchased two of the new Rouge Allure Velvet Lipsticks from Chanel's La Comer collection. This collection also comes with two blushes. And on that video, I said, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna purchase the blushes because I just purchased also new from Chanel, the two blushes that come in La Pausa Spring Summer 2022 collection. And this is what happened. So honestly, I didn't lie to you that I wasn't gonna pick them up. It's just that um, for all of you, my friends that follow me, you know that my son just went into a procedure and he got hospitalized. He's doing just fine. Thank goodness, all the outcome was great. Well, it was what it was expected. There's one thing that I need to follow up afterwards. Um, but other than that, I, well, first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you that have kept him on your prayers, on your thoughts, all the amazing, beautiful messages. I have received countless notes and messages and comments and I, I'm just so so full of gratitude to all of you for the support that I mean my gratitude goes beyond words so while on that process um, honestly I needed to get distracted I was alone um, my husband stayed with our two daughters in our home and obviously I was just lonely in there at the hospital and you know there were moments that you know got nervous and what should I do next and try to you know distract myself whether on Instagram on YouTube and in that distraction I said you know what <laughs> let me just pick these two up yes 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 so Regardless, I'm very excited to give them a try, review them, check them out. This collection is limited edition and is inspired by the only fine jewelry designed by Gabrielle Chanel herself, La Comet, that they still sell them at Chanel boutiques and whatnot. I will be leaving all the details of the products that I'm using today on the description box below as per usual for your convenience sale. So that makes it easier for you. So I said, you know what? Why not? <laughs> Why not? And here I am to try them, to give you my review. I just have right now foundation that, by the way, the foundation that I'm using today, number one, do Chanel. This foundation is just, just wonderful. Also, I do have today the color corrector from Chanel. Again, all the products will be in the description box below. I decided to skip on the bronzer just for right now, so that way we can see how the blushes look without anything else interfering on them. Okay, my friends, so here we go. The two blushes and obviously the two lipsticks because during my luxury beauty haul, I wasn't able to swatch them. Not that I wasn't able, but I just, you know, I was thinking, okay, I need to take pictures. Maybe I do a try on haul, but you know, let's go ahead and try all the products from the Comet Collection here today okay so let's just unbox it actually I just received it last evening and I'm like you know let me just unbox it in camera so let's go ahead and take a peek right here okay so the first thing a little envelope pretty sure that it's my receipt <laughs> and then oh thank you so much my essay he's wonderful his name is Giovanni and he works at the Chanel boutique at Brickle City Center if you're ever there he will take really really good care of you he is amazing so he sent me some samples let's see oh, okay some more chanel skincare this one right here is the revitalizing cream and then let's see he also sent me the serum that's amazing so i have been trying already some of these skincare line and 
I have a lot to say about it. Like I said, I'm planning to do a roundup of all the products that I review or purchase during the month of January. So stay tuned for that. Most likely it will happen on February. And then he sent me to a little sample of Le Lyon du Chanel. This is from Chanel's private fragrance line. I have reviewed Le Lyon in my channel. And oh my gosh, this is so adorable. A tiny little bottle tiny little bottle if you like more of like worn woody leathery type of scents you're gonna love Le Lyon. this is lovely and then here you go the two blush comets these blushes they are made in Italy they have 12 grams of product and they have a shelf life of 18 months okay this is exciting right here let's see how they look inside so I think I'm gonna go first with Peche Cosmique this one right here, I think it's the lightest of the two. Let me just check right here. Ooh, oh, wow, this is very interesting. First time that I see, is this the first time that I see the brush coming separately from the blush compact? I think so. I don't know. I don't recall see the brush in a separate little velvet pouch but i like the presentation it looks very refined very lovely and there you go i mean perfect for traveling okay so let's just take a peek right here here's the brush and it's just very nice very soft lovely and then let's just take a peek to this beautiful blush love the compact and i love that the logo is gold and then let's open it up this is pesh cosmic and these blushes they do have this illusion of seeing the star and then you can see right there the logo of chanel and then as you flip it a little then you can see on the mirror the chanel logo which i think it's very very interesting i really love what they have done right here but i have to say that this blush is very light i do have a light medium skin tone again my foundation matches everything will be in the description box below so let's see how this works but you know let's just give it a go oh wait a second i don't want to put my finger in it right now i think i'm gonna put a pause right here you're not gonna feel it i'm gonna take some pictures for instagram perhaps a reel and then um, then I will swatch it. You see, you didn't even felt it. <laughs> I already took my pictures. I already did my reel. So if you want to see close-ups of these products right here, I invite you to come and follow me on my Instagram. And by the way, if you're new here, I film my videos in natural light. So hopefully this will give you the best representation of how the products look like if you are looking at them in person. So let's just give it a swatch right here. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh my gosh. This is kind of like whitish in tone <laughs> it's not even peach what is this gonna do to my skin tone okay well let's see you know what it does have a little bit of luminosity not a lot i'm just building it up just a little more so you can actually see it i don't think this is gonna work for me as a blush to be honest with you i mean you can barely see it on my hand so i'm gonna be using my refer 04 brush the brush picked up plenty and there's a combination right here between peach and a little bit of pink and I'm just gonna take it right here on my cheeks okay it does have a little bit of luminosity you know it looks more like a highlighter huh okay definitely it doesn't show my skin tone it just gives me a little bit of radiance that's all what it does let's go for coral etoile and this unicorn is exactly the same the only difference is that you will find the name of the blush on the very top and the code too and then let's see how it looks inside now we're talking <laughs> now this is a blush and same design the star and then the reflection of chanel's logo Just swatch it down here. 
Okay, that shell right away. I don't even need to build it up. So here you have Peche Cosmique and Coral Etoile. Going with my Wayne Goss brush. And another thing that I have noticed on these lashes is that they are a little bit on the powdery side. So be gentle when you tap on it. And I'm gonna take this one right here and ooh. Okay, this is very pretty. I like to drape my blush. And you know what? I feel it looks lovely layer it this way layering both blushes like first the lighter one and then on top the deeper one it actually gives a beautiful reflection okay let's go ahead just use a little bit more of this one on the other cheek and by the way this brush is made out of blue squirrel hair so it does pick up product but it doesn't pick up as much as if you were going to go with another type of natural kind of brush or a synthetic brush. Okay, that looks pretty. I'm going to apply a little bit on my nose. I like it. It looks very lovely and you can actually build it up if you want more intensity, but I think you know, this is enough blush, what I have right now. I really like it. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and try Pesh Cosmique, the lighter one, but as a highlighter. And I'm going to go ahead and just use the brush that comes with the blush. Oh, yeah. Definitely, you can use it as a very, very subtle kind of highlighter just to give a little bit of radiance to the skin. Not easy right there. The tip of the nose, you can really tell. Now that I have you very close, I want to go ahead and jump into comparisons. I have here Fleur de Printemps. This beautiful blush kind of highlighter duo came out last 2021 spring. Well, it actually was launched also in January and I, you know, want to give it a go. So here I have the deepest shade and then here the lighter shade. I immediately thought about this duo when I saw these two blushes. It's like, Hmm. So I'm going to swatch the lighter one below Peche Cosmique and I will have to say this one right here is more of like a true highlighter. Yeah, it does have more intensity than Peche Cosmique and then the deeper shade I'm going to swatch it right here underneath Coral Etoile and I will have to say that again this one right here leans more peachy. Coral Etoile has a little bit more of that coral by the name coral tone a little bit more of like that peachy pink in it yeah it does have so close but not the same and then from la pausa collection i have here broom Uzi, and i'm just gonna swatch it down here this is definitely completely different more terracotta in tone lovely lovely blush i have already reviewed la pausa the spring summer 2022 collection from chanel exquisite and here i have also peche rosé this is the lighter of the two blushes from la pausa collection and this one right here is a beautiful tone it does show really well my skin tone i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it above peche cosmique yeah this is very peachy in tone more intensity for sure and then I have here Rouge Profond, and this is one of the Je Contrast Permanent of Chanel blushes. I think this will be a little bit more red. I'm just going to put it right next to Coral Etoile. Now, actually, Rouge Profond has more red in it. Close, but you can see there's more red right here. I said completely done. I went ahead and used the new eyeshadow quad from Chanel. This is from their La Pausa collection, Mediterranean. Oh, 
this is so gorgeous and also i picked up the ombre lac premiere in lumiere also from la pausa collection and i just put a little tiny bit right here not too much it's just you know just a, just a little bit to give a little bit more of like a glistening effect and now let's go ahead and try this Rouge Allure Velvet Lipsticks from La Comer Collection. So I cut them in the shade 108 and 118. And I want to try first 118, which is Bois de Rose Astral. And this is just so lovely. I love it has La Comet on top. And then you click. I love the experience, so beautiful. And by the way, if you're wondering, that shade number is right here. So it says 118, but also is on the metal. So if you haven't ever got one of these right here, you will also find it right here. So you cannot really mix them in. And there you go, that's the shade. I'm just gonna swatch it up here too. A beautiful rosy tone kind of lipstick. The other shade that I got is One Oe Terre de Etoile. This is just a little bit of a deeper tone. Seems like it has a little bit more like a brown undertone to it. Which it goes perfect with the name Terre. Both of the lipsticks are so beautiful. I like them both for different reasons. This one because it's more of like a deeper kind of like nude shade. Lovely, lovely shade. And also it does have a little bit of, is, I mean the Woosh Allure Velvets, they are not satin, they are not matte, they are kind of like a comfort matte and they are not like velvet powder alike. They just have a very lovely finish. But this one in particular, this last one that I tried, it has a little bit of like kind of like a golden undertone to it. So, so beautiful. And then the other shade, Vo de Rose Astral. I think it's a lovely kind of like pinky shade, kind of your lips, but better. Love both shades. They are just stunning, gorgeous. Love the formulation. Love the packaging too. <laughs> Absolutely love them. And before I give you my final thoughts on the blushes, I was thinking to use this blush right here because it doesn't really work as a blush for me. It really works more kind of like a highlighter that is not really a highlighter, but more I like to a little bit of like a luminizer. I'm gonna go ahead and go with my La Mer brush and I'm just gonna dig into it. I feel this could be a really good finishing powder not a setting powder a finishing powder for kind of like the perimeters of your face i wouldn't take it on the center at least not on me because i do have a large pores right here because this blush right here doesn't have any shimmer to it it just have a very soft sheen it reminds me a little bit to the Guerlain Meteorites, although this has a little bit more sheen than the Guerlain Meteorites, but yes, it gives you that very soft aura effect, like ethereal effect to your skin. Really lovely. I think it looks really, really lovely. Okay, let's go for the fragrance of the day. I'm gonna be using Beige by Chanel. I think this is perfect. I, in fact, today morning, I applied Numero on the Chanel, but this was right after my shower. This is the way that I'm using it because it's so light, so very close to your skin, but something to give me more of a statement. I will go with Beige by Chanel. Mm, I just love this scent. It's just so gorgeous. One of my favorite fragrances from Chanel. Okay, my friends, now going into the blushes. Did I need to pick up this lighter shade? Most likely not because it really doesn't help me as a blush. But as you were able to see by my demonstration right here, you definitely can use this blush to, you know, bath the perimeters of your face as a finishing powder. It will give you this very ethereal kind of finish to your look if you are 
about that. It's not a highlighter, but it gives you that very subtle glow that in fact I really love the finish that this gave me using it prior to use the deeper shade because it just gave an extra you know like youthful kind of glow to the skin that just looks so healthy so lovely I'm actually really happy with both blushes again finding another way to use this blush right here because as a blush it will not work for me and I'm wondering for who it will work I mean you will have to be very very fair in order to use this blush because it's very 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 light <laughs> Honestly, if you're looking for a blush, I will say definitely pick up this one. If you're like, you know what, I want to try them both, I say, well, this one, like I said, it will add up a little bit of a glow to your skin as a finishing powder, not as a setting powder. Do not use it on your, if you have a large pores, not because uh, it does have glitter. It doesn't have absolutely no glitter, no shimmer particles, but because, you know, it, it just have a subtle glow. And like I said, underneath this blush, it looks beautiful too the lipsticks are gorgeous i really enjoy absolutely everything that i tried today from chanel la comer collection and now i would love to know from you have you picked up any of the push allure velvets from this collection perhaps you have already picked up some of the blushes again i will be leaving all the details where to get each of these products on the description box below and again i would love to continue the conversation on the comment section down below and what you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye-bye.